So I'm going to talk to you about Apprenda. We are an application platform for building uh, .NET and Java applications inside financial services and banking. And we're a platform that takes all the servers inside a data center and stitches them together into one unified cloud that the banking and financial services community can use in the context of their own private cloud solution. Now, uh, our focus tends to be on tuning this sort of cloud technology for the scale, security, and compliance requirements that you would typically see in any sort of financial services scenario. In fact, our biggest customer, uh, JP Morgan, is running what we believe to be the biggest private cloud using Apprenda technology with over 2,000 new uh, and existing applications running on the platform. So the demo today is actually going to walk you through the deployment of an application on this cloud technology. So our technology has two primary end users inside some place like a bank, like a JP Morgan. One is the IT staff that runs the cloud, and second is the developers within that organization that actually consume the cloud and deploy applications. We're going to start off in a portal that actually shows the infrastructure and the servers underlying an Apprenda private cloud deployment. So if I take a look at the servers in this instance of Apprenda, I'll notice that I have them in three different data centers, an East data center, a West data center, and a compliance hardened data center that is the type of data center I might use for my GRC or high security applications. Now all of these are actually acting in the, as a unified whole despite potentially being thousands of miles away from each other. So when a bank is building applications, the infrastructure looks like one unit and then the application based on its requirements will land in the appropriate data center. We're actually going to switch portals now and pretend we're a developer and we're going to deploy an application on the platform. So the name of our, our application is TimeCard. It's a simple little .NET application that we built. We're going to go ahead and hit create. At this point, we're telling the platform, hey, we're preparing an application that we want to deploy to the platform. We'd like to upload it. And what we're going to do is actually give the platform a zip file that has all of our application package contents. It'll have our database, our web services here, our front end. And we're going to upload that to Apprenda. Let me select it off my desktop. And again, it's just a plain old zip file that we're deploying that has all of the different components that a developer might have put together for this custom application. We'll go ahead and hit upload. Now during this process, what Apprenda does is it actually analyzes the application and learns about its requirements. It tries to understand what uh, the application looks like architecturally. It'll actually investigate things like security requirements that the application might have and it'll use that to influence how the app is then deployed and running on that infrastructure. We'll give this a few seconds to finish. Once this process is done, then Apprenda also gives us some information about uh, things that it might have detected in the application architecture. So for example, if you're building a cloud application that you're going to service to external customers, you typically don't want to use certain types of capabilities in that application that might be okay if you weren't running in a cloud environment. Now part of deployment is I have to tell the application platform what sort of business requirements I have. One of the business requirements that are configured in this cloud is whether this app has personal identifiable information. That would influence the data center that this application would live in. So in banking, for example, it's very commonplace to have applications that have personally identifiable information. There might be only certain data centers that are capable of running those applications in a compliant and audited way. So we're going to go ahead as developers and say, hey, Apprenda, you know what? This is an application that has personally identifiable information. We'll hit save, and we'll next ask for certain service levels of the platform when running the application. So part of the service level requirements are defining the compute requirements of that given app. In our case, we have a three-tier application that has a set of front ends, maybe written in JavaScript, some web services, and something like a SQL Server or Oracle backend. And we have to configure what sort of compute power we need at each of those tiers. We have a default configuration that we're happy with, so we're going to go ahead and tell the platform that we're ready to get the app up and running on the infrastructure. We're going to go ahead and hit promote. And we are now going to tell the platform that we're ready to actually get this application deployed. During this process, what happens is applica the application actually gets digested by the platform, and we look at the architecture requirements. And we look at things like the security and governance requirements that might have been articulated during this publishing process. And we deploy the app to the underlying servers, making sure that full compliance is in place. So a developer could never do something like build an application that has personal identifiable information, but run it on infrastructure, for example, that isn't compliant with uh, housing apps that might be personally identifiable information applications. This is pretty powerful because typically that is a manual process that's dealt with inside banks like JP Morgan. They rely on IT and on their own kind of good graces and configuration to get that right. And that can be a very tricky risk situation uh, for any organization that's building this sort of app. So aside from this, while this process is going on, we can also take a look at how that gets configured. If I go back to the IT portal, 
I can see that whoever's running the platform can actually set up these application deployment policies that help dictate what sort of rules are going to be implemented when it comes to deploying applications against this sort of infrastructure. So in this particular case, the IT staff running the Apprenda Cloud at this organization has configured that any application running with personally identifiable information has to land on a compliance-hardened cloud. So if you recall at the beginning, we had three data centers. We had an East Coast, a West Coast, and a compliance-hardened data center. This will ensure that that application, given that it was flagged as having personally identifiable information, will land on the correct infrastructure footprint. Once the process is finished, our application will actually be up and running and we'll be able to launch it and actually look at the application. Now the complexity behind these rules can get very high. You might have uh, in the healthcare space, for example, something like HIPAA requirements. You might have in the banking space certain auditing requirements around certain applications. It might be in something like fixed income. So you can establish a set of policies and a network of rules that really influence placement of the application into the appropriate infrastructure segments. So our application was deployed. We're now ready to actually take a look at it. We'll go back to our time card management screen and we'll launch our application. Now once the app is running, we can actually control things like the availability and scalability of the app. So at a button click, if my application is experiencing maybe too much load from a mobile banking app that's, that's talking to it, I can click a single button and actually scale the app. And that gives me the ability to have an elastic deployment for this application while remaining compliant and uh, fully under compliance from a regulatory point of view. So if you think about the power behind this, it tends to focus on the fact that developers can now be highly productive around building new innovative applications and not get mired in the discussions around how do I deploy an application and run it in a highly compliant way. Uh, makes a, for an interesting dynamic where you end up with developers inside large financial services institutions that can fo focus exclusively on innovative application development and not on the constructs of infrastructure management. And that's Apprenda, folks.